Our immediate future brings us Phil London. I've had the pleasure of working with Phil London for many years. Phil London is a tireless advocate for our industry. He is a forward thinker, and he absolutely cares about the members of ACCA and our success. We are very fortunate to have Phil London be our new ACCA chair. Please welcome me and help me welcome Mr. Phil London. Dave, I can't thank you enough. You're the greatest. All right, brother. You're a hard act to follow, Dave. Jeez. Well, I guess this is the time I'm supposed to say something humorous. Put everybody at ease. I don't know if that includes me. You know, I tried to take some suggestions from Lowell Callett the other day, but I quickly realized he's in a league of his own. There's nothing I can say to top that. So here I am in front of thousands of industry's finest and I guess I'll just have to be myself since everybody else is taken. <clears throat> you know, I was going to make a joke regarding our flight to Texas. <laughs> Stop laughing. But my, my wife, Lana, she took care of that with the airlines, and uh, now we're on the no-fly list. <laughs> you know, when I started my career, I could never imagine that someday I would be receiving the honor of serving as chairman of ACCA. You know, that's probably because when I started my career, I wasn't working in the air conditioning industry. Hell, I wasn't even a contractor. I was working for a little company. You might have heard of it, UPS. Yeah. You know, UPS is one of the largest, best, and most forward-thinking organization, and I had the privilege of working there as a manager for more than a decade. You know, before I entered the HVACR industry in the mid-'80s, <coughs> That was, my life's, that was my lifeline. You know, when you think of UPS, what do you think of? Well, maybe you think of a brown truck. Maybe you even think of technology, GPS, communications, and all that stuff that makes it possible for UPS to deliver your packages from Amazon as fast as you can. And that doesn't include yours. <laughs> Most likely, when you think of UPS, you think of your UPS guy. Everybody knows and loves their UPS guy or woman, need to be politically correct here, as the case may be. What I learned at UPS was that technology may be important, and it grows more important every day. But the only way to offer the best possible product is to invest in people. Yes, invest in hiring the right people. Invest in treating them well, and invest in educating and training them to delight their customers, your customers, and offer incredible service. I brought that mindset with me to the HVACR industry when I joined a family contracting business in the 1980s. And I've never forgotten it. Of course, what I, <coughs> what I did last week is another problem. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still trying to remember what I did on Monday. When I learned my own business, <clears throat> when I opened my own business in the 1990s, and then I folded it into Thermal Concepts family, I never lost sight of the fact that my company's success and my personal success depends on working with the right people. It isn't easy, we all know that. Over 30 years ago, when I started working in the HVACR industry, everybody talked about the same thing, workforce development. And guess what? We're still talking about it. It is still a challenge for all of us. <clears throat> Dave Kyle has been very passionate about the need to rebrand our industry and to bring new young people into the indoor environment and energy efficiency, i.e. three profession. Dave has made it his focus throughout this past year and throughout this conference. I want to thank Dave for his service to ACCA and his tremendous passion. So let's give him a round of applause. <clears throat> Dave has been a great chairman, and I've had the chance to work with him. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate it. Dave is right. We need to position ourselves as a high-tech, green business, because that's what we are. When people think about their companies, 
and the people we employ, do they think of wrenches and uniforms? Or do they think of tablets and phones and wireless communications? We all know that we have a business, <coughs> we all know that we have to change our businesses, and in order to keep up with technology, we do that. Not once, not once in a while. We have to change every day. And we have to show the world, our customers, our employees, and our potential employees, that we are the kind of forward-thinking, high-tech businesses that people want to hire, and that great people want to work for. I believe that ACCA is the right vehicle to help us get that message out. And my pledge as chairman this year is that we will continue on this path and show America's students and veterans that this is the right profession for them. As an association, ACCA also has to change <clears throat> with the times. ACCA is not a club. It's a business, just like my business, your business. Except ACCA is a business that is owned by contractors and operates solely to benefit contractors. This year, the ACCA board, which is made up of some of the finest professionals in this or any other industry, has committed to keep ACCA moving forward. Working with our professional national staff, we are looking at every facet of the operation to make sure that we are doing everything we can to help contractors succeed. Just like my business and yours, ACCA can't do things just because they've always done them that way. This year, we will revamp our membership structure because what made sense 15 years ago doesn't make sense anymore. We will launch new online programs to help members make better business decisions. We will forge closer relationships with state contracting associations all over the country. We will work more closely with our distributor friends at Hardy to bring our services and training opportunities to contractors at the local level. We will never forget that ACCA is an organization of, by, and for contracting professionals of all kinds. Yes, including the commercial contractors. That's right. <clears throat> I spent most of the last 30 years working in commercial HVAC. And I know firsthand that ACCA is, a very, valu is very valuable for commercial contractors not just residential contractors. Not putting anybody down. And I promise that the commercial contractors in our membership this year, we will make it easier for all of our members, commercial contractors, and residential contractors to find exactly which ACCA benefits are designed specifically for them. I know that ACCA can continue to reinvent itself and can help contractors succeed, just like I know that all of us contractors in the room can change our businesses and get the message out to our potential employees. Because we are, <coughs> we air conditioning people have fire. That's right. ACCA members have fire, faith, integrity, responsibility, and enthusiasm. You know, one thing I've learned about ACCA is that our members stand apart from all of the other contractors out there. It's that fire that makes us stand out. We have faith in each other, in our country, and in our God, that we can and will do the right thing, not just the easy thing. We have the integrity that customers and members can rely on. We take responsibility for our actions and the future of our profession. We are enthusiastic about the services we provide to our customers, our nation, and the world. That fire is what makes me so proud and humble to be named chairman of this great organization. And as chairman, I promise to keep stoking that fire 
and to keep ACCA moving forward. Oh. <clears throat> I see my teleprompter flashing. Must be a signal to wrap things up. Oh, well. So as they say at the Oscars, it's time to uh, thank those that made this honor possible. So as I look at my list, God, I am, I am reminded of the expression, it's all your mother's fault. <laughs> to this day, I still remember my 92-year-old mother saying, don't give up and follow your dream. Well, Mom, I'm living that dream. Love you, Mom. <clears throat> I just can't say enough about our ACCA Board of Directors. I have come to respect their input, experience, and dedication. I look forward to working with you at the incoming year. To our past chairmen, who are truly legends in this organization, I am proud and humbled to walk in your shadows. To Paul and the entire ACCA staff, I can't thank you enough for your guidance, mentoring, and everything you do to make ACCA the most successful HVACA, HVACR contractor member organization in the country. <clears throat> Couldn't do it without you, Rosemary. <laughs> to my friends, fellow contractors, the Florida Association's Board of Directors, and especially Lisa, Lisa Tamago, who's professional, Lisa's professionalism, dedication, is miles above the peer, her peers. To Larry and Jesse Mauer, the founders and owners of Thermal Concepts, whose vision, insight, commitment to quality, and our company's whatever-it-takes culture. Can't thank you enough for everything you do to make our industry successful. To my four, four awesome kids, who couldn't make it today, Heather, Amy, Kelly, and Brian, for their confidence in me that gives me the courage to, <clears throat> the courage and the drive to stand here today. To my beautiful wife, Lana, or as she is commonly referred to as the Empress. <laughs> <laughs> Your support and willingness to share me and our time together with this great organization. Love you, kid. <clears throat> and last, but certainly not the least, my heartfelt thanks to the thousands of men and women who make up our industry's finest indoor environment and energy professionals in the world. I thank you for allowing me to be your 2015 2016 ACCA Chairman. So let, <clears throat> so let's work together to turn up the heat and spread ACCA fire throughout the entire industry. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you.